The next episode in our 21 digital film series is now online. The series examines the simple question of does where you live in the state affect how you live? 21 profiles one person in each of our 21 counties and looks at the social determinants that affect that person's life. The latest film introduces us to Salem County's Sue Ann Lighty, who is the executive director of Habitat for Humanity. She transforms neglected land into havens of hope for those who need affordable housing. But you need to be willing to help build it. She calls it sweat equity. Brianna Venozzi talked with Sue Ann. Take a look. Sue Ann Lady, it's great to get an opportunity to talk with you. It's evident in this uh, part of the series that your vision goes well beyond building homes for your community. What did you set out to do and what does it actually look like now? Well, our habitat is the oldest in the state of New Jersey. And uh, so kind of a treasure. And we needed to build more homes. So when I started 13 years ago, uh, we had an uphill battle. So we've made some changes, um, but we also realized during that process that it's really important to keep people in their homes. And that's where this ramp program came into be. Uh, it grew from building ramps with wood to um, getting groups out to um, you know participate and do some of the ramp builds, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, all kinds of college groups. But then we realized we're kind of wasting resources and there's a better way to do it. So this recyclable ramp program came to be and we now have over 40 ramps in the community and uh, there's always a strong need. We, we could probably uh, use 10 more today. Why was tapping into that so important? I mean, it's one thing to build someone a home. It's another to ensure that it's accessible, um, especially for those uh, who are often marginalized and, and overlooked in the community. Correct. It, it's a quality of life issue and I, saw the other day when we were speaking with <clears throat> one of the recipients and something as simple as taking his wife to the diner for Mother's Day was not possible before the ramp went up. Um, you know, he and his grandson had to carry her out and he's elderly himself. So that just is heartbreaking to me or to think that you just can't go outside on a sunny day and get some sun on your face. That, you know, it's only these emergencies. So to me, they're shut in um, and unable to really socialize and enjoy their life. I'm curious what being from Salem County, I know you weren't born there, but you've spent much of your life there, means to you and why giving back has become really a cornerstone of your life. This uh, happened 18 years ago. I. Uh, left my corporate job. I loved what I did. I learned a lot. I went to college, but my husband and I have been married 41 years and I've been in this community for 43 years. But until that time when I started to get involved uh, first as a realtor, but then as the director for Habitat for Humanity, out delivering Meals on Wheels. It's a pleasure to go to work every day. Um, to see people, to know that you're changing lives for people. And Years after your work uh, with Habitat is done, what do you think will stay with you most? There's some truly magnificent stories of people who, um, right now as an example, uh, one of the homes we built on Highland Avenue in Carney's Point, the mother just celebrated her daughter's um, graduation from high school. She's gonna go to Georgetown uh, on a full scholarship. So I see these families flourishing and doing just what I want for my family and to see that they were living and sleeping on a couch in a relative's home or, you know, just how much this home has meant to them. And I just think that's just such a great feeling and getting to know the families. It's, it's a partner family in the true sense. They don't go away once we hand them the keys. Sue Ann Lady, uh, thank you so much for being part of our 21 film series. Thank you. It was really a pleasure. And you can meet Sue Ann and the other extraordinary Jersey residents at mynjpbs.org slash 21.